NFLGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our AnyGivenSaturday.com Game of the Week preview between the Eastern Washington Eagles and the Sam Houston State Bearcats. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Eagles. I love the way the Eagles force you to cover the entire field. And when you look at quarterback Vernon Adams, he's an amazing talent. And this week versus Sam Houston State, the biggest matchup will be the passing game versus the Bearcats secondary. They're going to have to get creative in their formations, and that could aid the passing game this week versus Sam Houston. Now, defensively, you have to protect the perimeter versus the Bearcats. They attack you horizontally in both the passing game as in the running game. And in order for that to happen, that defensive line of the Eagles definitely has to play better. Let's move over to Sam Houston in this ball game, and offensively, they're explosive, and they're led by their All-American running back, Timothy Flanders. Now, this week versus Eastern Washington, only the time of possession is going to be key to success for the Bearcats. This week, you have to use your own offense as your best form of defense versus that quick strike attack of the Eagles. Now, defensively, the linebackers in the passing game will be key versus Eastern Washington as they put a lot of pressure on your intermediate pass coverage. If they're going to win this ball game, they're going to have to own the middle of the field versus the passing game. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game for Eastern Washington. The defensive backs and run support will be key this week versus Sam Houston. As I said before, they love to attack the perimeter in a running game and they're going to have to make tackles. Now on offense, you want to utilize the bunch formation to create the opportunities in the pass game. We know the Eagles can throw the football. So give yourself an opportunity by creating those different rub routes and natural pick routes out of the bunch. And no leakage up front. That offensive line has to do a great job this week versus the talented defensive front. of The Bearcats keep Adams well protected back there in the pocket. And for the Bearcats in this game, you want to balance the field in the passing game. Force Eastern Washington to cover every quadrant of the field. Balance the field. It'll open everything up offensively. And you want to keep an eye on Vernon Adams. Here's a guy that can make plays with his legs, extending the play in the pocket. Keep a spy on him. Don't let him break contain. And you want to lean on that defensive line. The Bearcats can run the football, and I think they have an advantage up front on that offensive line. So you want to lean on that defensive front of the Eagles and run your way to success. The X Factor for the Eagles will be their front seven on the defensive side of the football. They're going to have to stop the run and put this all on the shoulders of Brian Bell in that passing game. If they can do that, they can definitely win this game on the road. The X Factor for the Bearcats will be the pass defense. They're going to have to win those individual matchups in the passing game versus the Eagles. Otherwise, they can really move the football in chunks with that outstanding passing game. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game. For Eastern Washington, a lot of talent in the secondary with TJ Lee, one of the best cornerbacks in the country regardless of division. And UCLA transfer Tevin McDonald, outstanding defensive back, can play corner or safety. And I like what they have at receiver with Ashton Clark, doesn't drop a pass ever. And linebacker Ronnie Hamlin is the guy that does a great job inside and outside of the box. Now when you look at the Bearcats, Timothy Flanders, one of the best Backs in the country does a great job catching the football out of the backfield and also is a very underrated inside runner. Bookie Sneed, outstanding corner out there on the boundary, can also double as a field corner as well, so he has that versatility. And I'm a big fan of Richardson's here and what he does in the passing game as well as in the running game, more of a wildcat type player. Tanner Brock, outstanding linebacker, sensational player. Look for him to fly up the draft boards postseason. And Gary Lawrence may be injured, but this is a guy that definitely has next level type talent on the interior six feet. 290 pounds. Rex Prescott was one of the best players in Eastern Washington history. Look at a guy that played from 1994 to 1997, an FCS consensus All-American, and finished his Eagle career with over 3,200 yards rushing and 28 rushing touchdowns. Paul Pierce is one of the best coaches in Bearcat history from 1952 to 1967. He led the Bearcats to four bowl appearances and also captured the co-championship title in the NAIA division in 1964. I like the Bearcats in this ballgame. I think this game will be won in the trenches, and I like their offensive line going against the defensive line of Eastern Washington. I think that's where the Bearcats have the advantage. I think they're going to lean on that ground game. They're going to shrink this ball game, which will force Eastern Washington to maximize their possessions, and that will play right into the hands of the aggressive Bearcat defense. <laughs> 